Hey what's up guys, this is Saman here from Expert Gadgets and I hope that you guys are having a wonderful new year. And today I have 20 iOS games to get you started with 2019. So without any further delay, let's get this started. So first up we have Chronicles of the Himalayas. This is an adventure and mystery experience set in the Himalayan wilderness. Hidden from the eyes of the common folks, you peek into the extraordinary world where the reality, folklore, and magic come together. The visuals in this game is simply outstanding with the low poly style, and the music fits perfectly with the visuals. Currently, only the demo is available to play, but it will be soon released this year. Information about this game is in the description below, so do check it out. So first up we have Odmar. Here you control the enormous viking protagonist, a shellfish little oaf who is pressed into duty when his entire village disappears. He is granted a mystical power by the forest creatures that allows him to jump around by throwing down mushrooms, but in exchange he has to also save the great forest from evil creatures. All in all the graphics are great and the gameplay is amazing, and it's a good game to play. Now next up we have PUBG Mobile. I am pretty sure you're familiar with this game, because it's pretty popular, but for the people who don't know what this game is about, it's a battle royale type game that pits you against 99 other players in a heart pounding survival scenario, where you'll need to scavenge for loot, explore the map, and stay in safe zones while taking out your competition. Next up we have Asphalt 9 Legends. This time Asphalt 9 focuses squarely on racing. The objective is to win each season of races. Thankfully you won't be aiming for pole position in every event. You'll be tasked with escaping from the cops, to beating the clock for the best timing, or completing stunts. There is enough variety to keep you going. And Asphalt 9 does a fantastic job of making you feel you're making tangible progress with every session you play. Next up we have Far Away 4 Ancient Escape. Snapbreak's Far Away games are one of the better escape room series on the Play Store, and Far Away 4 Ancient Escapes takes players to an all new environment that is broken up into 20 all new levels. And you can expect to find plenty of challenging puzzles. The overarching story still has to do with your father and many pages of his missing journal. So there is nothing much new here, but luckily the gameplay, graphics and music are great. Next up we have Inside. This game is a dark, morbid platformer. But rather than casting the whole world in silhouette, there is some color this time around. You're a boy escaping from some totalitarian regime, clambering through muddy ponds, stumbling through cornfields, and generally trying to stay alive. The controls here are remarkably simple. You move around just by swiping and holding. And you can also push on the screen when you're near an object so you can interact with it. All in all, this game has a great story and it's a very good play.
Next up, we have Life is Strange. Life is Strange was a resounding success, one of the top 100 best-selling games on Steam in 2016, and it is finally out on the Play Store. The game centers around Max, a high school student who just recently moved back to her hometown of Arcadia Bay. When she sees a girl get shot by a fellow student, Max discovers that she can rewind time, allowing her to change what happened and save the girl, Max's former best friend Chloe. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Next up, we have Golf Club Wasteland. This is a game of mini golf set in a post apocalyptic wasteland. The art style is minimalist, resisting the temptation to cover everything in a blood scorch marks and ooze. The whole scheme, especially the background, does a wonderful job of conveying the desolation of this world. And you play as an interplanetary pilot from Mars in an isolation shoot with a jetpack. The controls are easy, and the challenges are fun, and overall it's a fun game to play. Next up we have Pocket Build. Pocket Build is a world builder that lets you add buildings and landscapes without the usual constraints of scores, goals, or dangerous beasts. Pocket Build is more than just a city builder though. It's a fantasy sandbox game where really the only limit is your imagination. Next up, we have Assassin's Creed Rebellion. There is a lot to do in the game, a storyline full of missions where you take down a Spanish Templar leader, daily challenges, and plenty of free chances to add more heroes to your roster. And you can also pay for some heroes if you like to speed things along. So first up, we have Man or Vampire. There is no doubt that Man or Vampire is a gorgeous looking game. The art design of this strategy RPG is unmatched on Android. And the gameplay is also amazing and easy to get used to. It's also free to play. And the strategies used to clear this game is good. So if you dig gorgeous graphics and strategic gameplay, you may want to give this a try. Next up, we have Alto's Odyssey. Alto's Odyssey trades in the bright, snowy, and colorful palette of the first game for a much warmer, darker environment. The desert, while stunningly gorgeous, feels harsher and less forgiving than the slopes Alto's used to, and the new landscape provides a plethora of new challenges for players to discover. If you liked Alto's Adventure, then downloading Alto's Odyssey is a no-brainer. You are getting everything you loved about the first game in a more robust and polished package. Next 
Next up we have Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is a farming simulation game where you take over your late grandpa's old farm. You will need to plant and harvest crops, spend time fishing, chat and give gifts to the villagers, and work your way through the mines. And most actions can be done with a tap. The music is crisp and clean and the graphics are as just as bright and beautiful as ever. You won't even notice how much time flies when you're playing this and how much fun you're having along the way. Next up, we have SteamWorld Heist. SteamWorld Heist combines spacefaring pirates and steam-powered robotic raiders with classic western elements, which means confrontations are often concluded with guns and skillful sharpshooting. You can move, shoot or use a special ability, and you have to cover yourself, flank and take height advantages to win. The graphics looks great and I really love the art style. Overall, it's an amazing game. Next up, we have Cosmobots. Here you control your best space robots, the Cosmobots, and send them to discover the infinite expanse of space. You have to gravitate around thousands of planets while venturing even further into this infinity. And you'll have to make gravity your ally to navigate around. Next up, we have Jump and Destroy. This is an arcade side-scrolling and this running shooter that lets you pilot a tank and shoot up enemies along the way. Jump, aim and shoot at your foes and destroy everything in sight. And you have to develop your tank and upgrade it with more powerful cannons and armor to get you really far ahead of the competition. Next up, we have Looney Tunes World of Mayhem. This is an action RPG that lets players collect teams of characters from classic cartoons. Each character has its own strengths and weaknesses, along with some hilarious fighting abilities. You may see it as a time waster, but once you dive into the title more, you will soon realize how much fun it really is. Next up, we have Bacon Escape 2. This is a single finger auto runner, but rather than making the little piggy jump, you are manipulating the whole world around it instead. There are color detection on the levels that change when you tap on the screen, and it's not long before things get a little more interesting. Next up, we have Exception. Here, each level gives you an objective for your little robot friend to complete, but you don't directly control the robot. Instead, you give it commands and then sit back and watch to see if your commands allow the robot to complete the objective. If you really like challenging puzzle games and you can think like a computer programmer, Exception may be perfect for you. Next up, we have Brawl Stars. Brawl Stars is a team-based top-down shooter at heart, mixed in with the sort of progression and loot boxes you've come to love or hate from the both Clash games. 
Brawl Stars action is immediately accessible, and its real-time PvP doesn't intimidate, and the style and charm are through the roof. Well that was it for this video guys, do leave a thumbs up if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you don't want to miss out on some more upcoming contents. And as always, thanks for watching, this is Saman, signing out.